Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x times x minus 4 times x minus 5 plus 1 over x is equal to 9. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So, let us start by multiplying both sides of this equation by x. At right hand side we multiply by x. So, this x times x will become x squared times x minus 4 times x minus 5. This x times 1 over x will become plus 1 is equal to 9 times x 9x. Next x squared times this x times x will become x squared and x times negative 5 negative 5x negative 4 times x is negative 4x negative 4 times negative 5 plus 20 plus 1 we move this 9x to the left hand side it will become negative 9x is equal to 0 now this uh, negative 5x minus 4x will become negative 9x and we multiply this x squared by these three terms so x squared times uh, x squared will become x to the power 4 and x squared times the negative 9x negative 9x cubed and uh, x squared times the plus 20 plus 20x squared and from these two terms uh, we write this negative 9x first negative 9 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now we divide both sides of this equation by x squared we divide each term by x squared. Then x divided by x squared, 1 divided by x squared and 0 divided by x squared. So, this x to the power 4 over x squared will become x squared. The negative 9x cubed over x squared will become negative 9 times x. This x squared will be cancelled over with this x squared. Here left plus 20 minus this 9 over x over x squared will become 9 over x plus this 1 over x squared is equal to 0. Now, we combine like terms we write this x squared with this 1 over x squared and we write this negative 9 x with this negative 9 over x. So, this will become x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 9 times x minus 9 over x plus 20 is equal to 0. Next x squared plus 1 over x squared from these two terms we can factor out negative 9 and in bracket left x plus 1 over x plus 20 is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity a squared plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared minus 2 a b. This uh, x squared plus uh, 1 over x squared will become x plus uh, 1 over x whole squared minus 2 times x times 1 over x minus 9 times x plus 1 over x plus 20 is equal to 0. Now, this x will be cancelled out with this x and uh, this equation will become x plus uh, 1 over x whole squared. This negative 9 times negative 9 times x plus 1 over x and this negative 2 plus 20 will become plus 18 is equal to 0. Now we suppose that let x plus 1 over x is equal to m. So, this equation will become m squared minus 9 times m plus 18 is equal to 0 and this quadratic equation is factorable 
we write this m squared m squared and we split this negative 9 m as a negative 6 times m negative 3 times m plus 18 is equal to 0. Now from these two terms uh, we can factor out m in bracket left uh, m minus 6. From these two terms uh, we can factor out negative 3 in bracket left uh, m minus 6 is equal to 0 and this m minus 6 is common so we factor out this m minus 6 and uh, in bracket left uh, this m and this negative 3. In bracket left, m minus 3 is equal to 0. From here, either this expression m minus 6 is equal to 0 or this expression m minus 3 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of m is equal to 6 and from this equation, we get the value of m is equal to 3. Now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that uh, x plus 1 over x is equal to m. We have supposed that uh, x plus uh, 1 over x is equal to m. So, when m is equal to 6, then this equation will become x plus uh, 1 over x is equal to 6. We can write the denominator 1, we take LCM that is x and x divided by 1 is x, x times x, x squared plus x divided by x is 1, 1 times this one, 1 is equal to 6. If we multiply both sides by x, this implies that uh, x squared plus 1 is equal to 6 times x. Move this 6 to the left hand side, this will become x squared minus 6 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this quadratic equation is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation, we have a is equal to 1 and b is equal to negative 6 and c is equal to 1. So, according to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative times negative 6 plus minus square root of in place of b squared, we write negative 6 squared minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 1 divided by 2 times a is 1. And x is equal to negative times negative 6 will become positive 6 plus minus square root of this negative 6 squared will become 36. Negative 4 times 1 times 1, 4 divided by 2 times 1, 2 and x is equal to 6 plus minus square root of 36 minus 4, 32 divided by 2. Next, x is equal to 6 plus minus this is square root of 32 can be written as a square root of 16 times 2 divided by 2 and x is equal to 6 plus minus square root of 16 is 4 times root 2 divided by 2. x is equal to in the numerator we can factor out 2 and in bracket left 3 plus minus 2 times root 2 divided by 2. In this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from there we get uh, 2 values of x. x1 is equal to 3 plus 2 times root 2 and x2 is equal to 3 minus 2 times root 2. Now, when m is equal to 3, then this equation will become x plus 1 over x is equal to 3. We can write the denominator 1 and we take LCM x x divided by 1 is x, x times x, x squared plus x divided by x is 1, 1 times this one, 1 is equal to 3. And if we multiply both sides by x, this implies that uh, x squared plus uh, 1 is equal to 3x. 
move this 3x to the left hand side this will become x squared minus 3 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. In this quadratic equation we have a is equal to 1 b is equal to negative 3 and c is equal to 1. According to quadratic formula x is equal to negative times negative 3 plus minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 3 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 1 divided by 2 times a is 1 and x is equal to negative times negative will become positive 3 plus minus square root of this negative 3 squared will become 9 minus 4 divided by 2 times 1 2 next x is equal to 3 plus minus square root of this 9 minus 4 will become 5 divided by 2. So, from here we get the other two solutions x 3 is equal to 3 plus root 5 over 2 and x 4 is equal to 3 minus root 5 over 2. So, these are the four solutions of this equation.